Ahoy hoy, and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19, where I go over the dankest memes from the r slash dank memes from site 19 subreddit, whilst looking like a homeless person that lives in the woods. Let's get started. I don't know, maybe my hair's not quite long enough yet for that, but I'll get there. This is starting to annoy me. I trimmed my mustache a couple of days back, and... I start well, not a couple days, but like a week and a half ago, maybe. I'm now starting to get in my mouth again. All right, let's get started. <laughs> oh yeah, I already had this open. Aha! There's an official SCP Light novel that was released in Japan. It's actually very good and true to the foundation. It was also has an SCP waifu. I think that's how you pronounce that. It could get adapted into a manga in the future. There's a very real possibility that we could be seeing an official SCP anime in the future. Well, okay. I, I actually don't know about the SCP light novel because it's in Japanese. Um, so I don't know if it's very good or true to the foundation. I don't know about it getting adapted into anything in like a serious way, especially not an actual official anime because, well, it's Creative Commons. You can sell the stuff, but nobody's going to put any real money behind it. Animation's expensive. I don't know how expensive anime is, but I imagine it's just as expensive as modern Western animation, if not similar it's just not not very likely the Ouroboros cycle every other 001 proposal there are other long 001 proposals Kalenin's is pretty long it's like six different documents uh, each of the individual Ouroboros cycle uh, 001's is incredibly long though so that is fair to make a point about <laughs> I don't know. I think the the I don't think length necessarily equates to quality. I'll say that the Ouroboros cycle is very good, but so are some of the very short other ones. Of course, some of the very short other ones are pretty shitty too. I've always felt like that's the best way to put this. I've said this before to people, and I don't think everyone agrees. Uh, mainly because there's a lot of people out there that still want to do their 001, and they kind of have it in their heads that. Like, writing an 001 is some sort of prestigious, wonderful thing, but there's like 30 to 40 of them at this point. Like, give it a couple more years, there'll probably be like over 100 001s, and then what? <laughs> it's going to turn into just being a basic... I mean, it's already to me that way. I'm not reading all 40 of those. Fuck that shit. I mean, if friends of mine write it, or people I know write quality works, write something, sure, I'll give it a read, but most of the time... Sorry. Right. I am pretty sure this is a joke. Well, not pretty sure. Absolutely sure. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. Is this, this is a joke about the pandemic. I, <laughs> so I guess this is either from some site. This is probably GOC stuff. So this is either from the site or from the actual. Uh, it's not a sister site, but it's an old, old site that was created for the GOC Sort of house their uh, tactical bullshit. Uh, they have names for everything. Pretty sure they just decided, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we made up a whole bunch of fun names for everything? Oh, more GOC. SCP Foundation. Anomalous objects must be contained in order to further research. MCND. Anomalous objects should be sold in order to make a profit. The GOC. Do you want to explode? I mean... I think the MCND has the, the best, they have the best business model for sure. I think they have the best model in general. Because <laughs> so what's the SCP Foundation do once they research things? They under, they research them to understand them better. And then once they understand them better, they just leave them in a box forever. Like, oh, well, we figured it out. The GOC is like, let's destroy it. The MCND is like, let's see how this can best help mankind and also us. I'm just saying. Capitalism isn't always bad. Oh my god. There should be like a... I guess the serpent's hand is the communist answer to the MCND. Communist socialist. Huh. Yeah. 
SCP-5004 feeds off of negative energy, resides under capital here. It's due to dissipate on June, 20th, January, 2021. 20, January 2021. Oh, my God. I'm just waiting for the world to change, I guess. I It's been... It's been rough. It's been a rough week in general for a variety of reasons, but especially the Capitol Hill uh, insurrection. Oh, man. And I did a video. Here's the funny part. I, so I did a video about uh, SCP-5004 called You're Wrong About Trump and lost like 60 subscribers that day. And on the one hand, I'm like, all right, I guess I'm cool with that. On the other hand, it's like, uh, Really? Like, you didn't know by now? I mean, even then, I wasn't even being political. It's not a point. I'm not defending myself, because I don't need to defend myself. But I wasn't being political in the video. It was about an SCP. Just acknowledge that a thing had happened and then moved on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can't escape it. Every time I figure, every time somebody says something like, I don't like seeing politics in my... Uh, in my entertainment, what they really mean is they don't like seeing politics that they disagree with in their entertainment. Because, like, if you agree with the politics of a thing, you don't notice it. It's only when it goes against what you think and believe that you notice it. And you're like, oh, no, no, there's no politics in anything. Like, the SCP Foundation, in and of itself, is a commentary on authoritarianism and, like, the problems with... uh. Uh, morally neutral science in general <laughs> and, and it's like completely missed it's there's no political statement in the scp foundation it's just spooky scary monsters those are the people who spend too much time reading <laughs> series one articles just saying like there there's there's a certain level of like you're not reading too many series one articles it's okay to like what you like but if you think the scp foundation just it doesn't on its own have a core political message you're either not paying attention or you just totally agree with the authoritarian statement that it's making and don't notice just saying just saying it's okay not to notice by the way and i'm not going to say that that necessarily means you agree but if somebody points it out to you and you still resist the idea that it exists pretty sure that's because you agree with it and that's why you can't see it just saying I went, on a, I went on a little bit of a rant there. I got a little political. Oh, no. Funny guy on the internet is... Go well, funny guy. Well, we'll see how funny I am. Funny guy on the internet is going to lose subscriber. <sighs> Dr. Simmer, Simmer Ian or whatever. I don't read SCP. I'm going to guess that this is a guy called Ian. I don't recognize the person, but I mean, I think I do recognize this person, but I don't know from what, but uh, I put this in here because I thought it was clever and interesting and mostly because it includes me and um, nothing if not, um, what's the word, self-absorbed with a hyphen, so it is one word. Take a shot every time r slash SCP talks about a tale, me, dried up. <laughs> I don't know about r slash SCP, but I know that the Dank Memes uh, subreddit, because I, 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 I browse it from time to time myself without somebody else putting it together. Shout out to Yasi who puts these lists together, by the way. But I do browse it myself from time to time, and I see them talking about tales. Mainly the things that po stick out to me, because I am so self-absorbed, is when they talk about one of my tales. I have a couple of really, really silly tales, including Clef, Bright, and or uh, Sumerian, and they get mentioned every once in a while. And so they do definitely talk about tales over there. Not all the time. It's still kind of rare, but I don't think it's as rare as it is on other places. R slash SCP, I guess, just only talks about SCPs, which makes sense. What's the name of the subreddit? Yeah, and I think the old SCP-166 was much better. Yeah, that's the right look for that, because, like... Boy, howdy. If it, if Okay, so let's, what's the best way to put this? If you think the old SCP-166, if you didn't think about the SCP-166, if it was not something you considered, that's all right, I guess. If you can somehow read that and not come across feeling like, Ugh, I don't know if this website's for me, that's fine, I guess. Um, but if you see that it's been changed to be less 
uh, troubling and problematic and your first response is fuck that i hate change i want to see it go back to being about what it was before it's about an underaged girl who cannot wear clothing who everyone is sexually attracted to and who has to consume something that i'm not going to say because i don't want to get demonetized in order to survive it is male fantasy in SCP form, and in the most troubling of male fantasies. Let's be clear about that. It does not belong on a site that people that the public can read. It belongs on some far-off fan fiction thing. And what they've changed it into is much better. I'm not saying that the writing is necessarily all that great. I think they were just kind of, um, what's the word, um limited by the original content because they didn't want to change it too much. It's not that much different overall. The message outside of the incredibly troubling sexual stuff is still the same, mostly. They just got rid of the, the problematic stuff. Get over it. I, f I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Uh, the chair should scare you, GOC man. You destroyed it, and now it will destroy you. If the SCP Foundation really wanted to get rid of the GOC, what they would do is they would just uh, take that chair uh, wood chipper and they would chip it down into just pure, as fine of sawdust as they possibly can. Telling it, I guess, that, <laughs> that they're doing it so they can take out the GOC and then spew it into the fucking atmosphere. That'd be an interesting story idea, actually. Like, the GOC breaches an SCP site that happens to be containing the chair pieces. And so, like, the SCP Foundation lets it out and lets them know the GOC is nearby. And it just kills every single one of them. <laughs> SCP-1000 being let back in. The SCP Foundation. Scarlet King, Broken God, Yaldabaoth, Chaos Insurgency, The Hanged King. Ah, oh, community. Ah. Uh. Are we gonna so wait? We're gonna let the uh, big feet big feet back in in order to <laughs> in order to solve all of our problems. Well, we're dying anyway. Might as well might as well uh, un uncork the bottle. I don't know. Feels like it might be another problem. I'm not a big. I don't think the big feet are as um, nice as they say they're gonna be. <laughs> Everybody on 12, 31, 20, panicking for what could happen. Me, knowing that they're going to activate SCP-2000. Relaxed. See, this could have been the, I guess, panic calm meme, probably. Um, maybe that's a little overdone, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> uh, I love the idea that there, there probably are people in the SCP Foundation universe who, like, see world the possibility of world-ending shit going on, nuclear war or whatever, and they're just like, yeah, but... If it happens, it happens. We'll start over again. Who cares? That is a nice, relaxing feeling, I imagine. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And I'm talking to you, Carl, you motherfucker. And then... Head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who's pledged at $40. I hope you get to feeling better. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. Took me a second to remember what day of the week it was.